Okay, so I'm going to try to go through and show you a new format or a new sort of game that I'm playing around with. Uh, if you happen to own Scrabble or Bananagrams, then you can recreate this at home in real life. And if you happen to not, or if you just want to try out something a little different, then you can also do this on the computer. And I'm curious to see how it goes from your end, so let me know if you decide to try this. So we're going to start out going here. I was logging in from Google and it kept on switching, even though I was switching to the classroom account, kept it moving me over to my teacher account. So I started from AW and that seemed to help. Just a little troubleshooting note for anyone who's still running into this. I am continually. Uh, so I've put it up here. I've only assigned it to the generic student account so far, so you won't see this just yet. But I just want to point out some new things. So for one, your work, I've actually created the file that you're going to be working in over here. Uh, and I've given two different options, which will make more sense once I show you what it looks like. So challenge one, how many new words can you make using the letters in Sherlock Holmes? And challenge two is how many Scrabble or crossword style words can you make, making sure you use every letter. And I said picture sample attached below. So we can actually check this out right here. So your objective in challenge two is to use every letter, but you can arrange them into various words. You can overlap them, whatever you need to do. Uh, challenge one is a little simpler, and that's just to see how many words you can make. So let me show you once we get into Google Classroom or Google Slide what you will see and what you can do. It's easier, I found, to do this on the computer. I'm going to make a little iPad video too for this, but I found the iPad was a little fiddly. Uh, you'll see why in that video. So I've just recreated this here, and each tile, you'll notice, can be moved alone. Uh, some things you'll want to look out for. If you accidentally grab onto the side, you'll actually just change the size here, and you can pull it the opposite direction. Uh, Command Z. Apple Z or Control Z on your computer should undo that. And there's an undo button somewhere here to uh, reset image. No. Oh, right, right here in the corner. So you can go undo, undo, undo in case anything happened. So you can notice right away that we can move a couple of letters and check that out. We've already made three brand new words just like that. So you might want to keep a notepad, write down all of the words that you come up with. Uh, you can even, if you're feeling fancy, grab a text box from over here, put a text box on your screen, and you can actually write each word as you go along. So however you want to keep a track and see how many unique words you can come up with. Of course, you can then do really easy tricks like changing the beginning sound. We can make lock, sock, mock, rock, all sorts of things. So um, I'm willing to bet you can come up with dozens and dozens of words if you play around with that. Um, what I've also done for you, if you'd like to pursue challenge two and you want to arrange this into, say, a set. So let's say, uh, I don't know. Let's do home down this way. I didn't mean to do that, so I'm just going to Apple Z, nice and easy. And let's see. I should have thought this out before I started. I'm just improvising, but I bet I can do it. And of course, it doesn't matter if we go a little off of the... Hmm. Ah, watch this. In fact, I'm going to collect these together. One, two, three. Move this over. Sum still a word and then I can put my H up here down here and I can just leave this as is I have a bunch more slides I've given you five to play with 
But if you make one of these, you want to leave it as is and move to the next one, you can just come over here and jump to the next slide. You've got a fresh one to start with. And I'm just going to move myself over here. If you fill up one, two, three, four, you've done your fifth one and you still want to do more, you can either right click or double click. And if you just click duplicate slide, it'll give you a brand new one. So you can infinitely play with this. Uh, you can keep going and going. You can do as many or as few as you like. Um, and like I said, you can recreate it with real tiles at home, but if you'd rather play around with it here, uh, just to get some practice or for fun, give it a go.